Hello everyone and welcome to Fox Tech. And today we're gonna talk about how you can get the Files app on your iPad. The Files app is a central hub for managing all of your documents and files, which makes it an essential tool for your productivity. So let's explore how you can ensure it's available on your iPad and what you can do if it's missing. First and foremost, every iPad should, ha should have the Files app pre-installed. If you can't find it on your home screen, the first place to check is the app library. Swipe left on your home screen until you reach the app library. Once there, you can either scroll through the list of all your apps or use the search bar at the top. The apps are listed alphabetically, so you should be able to locate the files app under the letter F, of course. However, it's possible that the app might have been accidentally removed. If this is the case, it's important to know that deleting the Files app also removes all locally stored files. Files stored in cloud services like iCloud, Dropbox, or other integrated services will remain safe, but local files will be lost. If you find that the Files app is missing, you can easily reinstall it. To reinstall the Files app, just go to the App Store and search for Files. And the app is developed by Apple, so it should appear at the top of your search results. It's, of course, free to download, and once you reinstall it, you'll have access to your cloud stored files again. Redownloading the app is quick and pretty easy to do, so it's just gonna ensure that you can have the Files app again on your device. Once you have the Files app back on your iPad, you might wanna place it somewhere easily accessible. You can move the app to your dock for quick access or keep it on your main home screen. This way, you'll always have it handy whenever you need to manage your documents and files. While the Files app is a very nice tool, it's not the only option available out there. There are other apps like Dropbox or Documents that offer similar functionalities with some additional features. You can find these alternatives on the App Store, but the Files app itself is quite decent and integrates well with other Apple services. Lastly, though it's a rare scenario, but you might want to check the restrictions settings under the screen time if you're having trouble with the Files app. Sometimes restrictions can inadvertently block and just make it, uh, some, some, some fun functionalities unable. So you can navigate to the settings and then screen time and check if there are any restrictions in place. Of course, you can disable them altogether to ensure full access to everything. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe to Fox Tech if you found this video informative. Hit the thumbs up and I'll see you in the future.